Black Mass, or The Departed, starring Johnny Depp, gets three out of five Jack Nicholsons. Okay, okay, so it's a little bit different. Uh, for starters, it's based on the real-life criminal Whitey Bulger, and not just a you know, personification of him. With Joel Edgerton, guys, guys getting around places, man, as a FBI informant that helps Depp and his goons reach the top of organized crime in Boston, he also had Benedict Cumberbatch playing Whitey's brother, which you would think meant the brother plays a huge part in the overall story. He doesn't. Though not nearly as pointless as Kevin Bacon's 10 minutes of screen time in this movie, it's weird how pointless a lot of these, uh, I want to say cameos, but they do have larger parts than just a couple scenes, but it's like, this guy has a couple lines, you know, head of FBI, let's make it Kevin Bacon, why not? Whitey Bulger had a brother, it has nothing to do with the story overall, but let's make it Benedict Cumberbatch, why not? We want, we want to get our Oscars in. It was nice seeing Johnny Depp uh, showing his acting chops again after recent disappointments like Transcendence and The Lone Ranger. Uh, I haven't seen Mordecai, but I have only heard bad things. You could probably attribute these failures to writing and directing, but my point is he clearly does better when he channels a real person like Fear and Loathing's Hunter S. Thompson, the guy he played in Blow, and to some degree even Pirates of the Caribbean. Overall, I enjoyed the music in this movie, uh, you know, a lot of pop songs from the time period, a distinct lack of Dropkick Murphys shipping out to Boston and the Rolling Stones Give Me Shelter. Uh, clearly this movie wasn't directed by Scorsese. But I did find some of the original score for this movie to be a bit odd sometimes, even jarring. One instance I could think of shows a guy who works for Bulger getting arrested and at this point in the movie you know he's killed people and at one point had sexual relations with his stepdaughter played by Juno Temple from Horns by the way uh, and while seeing this whole arrest take place the music gives this dramatic and emotional swell like oh no this is the part of the movie where everything goes wrong for for our heroes and our good guy we're supposed to feel sorry for this guy like this was supposed to be our protagonist i feel with biopics you can get away with not having a protagonist and an antagonist because this is real life but the music at some points didn't make sense because it's like we're supposed to be rooting for you or feel bad for you what i it was weird i'll accept that this movie takes place in boston and is based on real events but holy fuck does this movie use the word fuck a lot. According to IMDb, 254 times to be exact. That's a lot of fucks. Now it's not that I was offended, but just taken way out of the movie because of it. Uh, it got to the point where it was hilarious how much the word was just peppered into everybody's sentences. It was that badly written. Some of this movie's budget should have gone to buying a thesaurus is all I'm saying. Black Mask gets 3 out of 5 fucks from me. That's right. That's all the fucks I have to give.